roughen brush. Here is one more tool of Corel Draw X3, roughen brush tool. It's used to make the object's outline or edge as jagged or curved. Let's check this tool. For this, I will draw the shape of a sheet like this. Choose the tool and click on the object. A warning window appears, asking whether you want to change the object in a curve. Just click OK. Move the brush above the edge or outline of the shape. See the edge of the object is jagged now. Now check out some properties of a roughen tool. The properties of roughen brush includes the first property is nib size. With this property option, we can adjust the size of smudge brush nib according to the requirement. It ranges from one to ten. Another property is dry out to the effect. We can use this option to give a value to make the distortion short or sharp and long and smooth. The next property is tilt setting. With this option, we can adjust a spike's height. Try this tool to make a Christmas tree by yourself. Interactive distortion. Distortion tool, as the name suggests, helps in pulling, pushing, twisting, or zipping objects. Let's check out how it's working. Here, put a circle on drawing page like this. Now, go to a toolbox and choose distortion tool. Click on the object. And without leaving the mouse button, just drag inside or outside of the object. Now we will see the properties of distortion tool. First option is presets, which helps us to choose from the predefined sample list. Add and delete presets. This option helps to add or delete to preset lists. See here are three different distortion types: push and pull, zipper and twister. Now let's discuss all one by one. Push and pull. This option helps either to push or to pull the object in order to distort it. Just undo what we did by pressing Control plus Z. Now choose the pull and push option from the property bar here. Now drag the mouse over that object like this and observe the changes. Properties of push and pull are push and pull distortion amplitude. Here we can adjust the amplitude for distortion. Center distortion. Here we can change the center for the distorted object. Convert to curve. We can change the distorted object to curve. That means now it's easy to change the shape of object by using shape tool. Clear distortion. If we want to remove the distortion, this option helps you. Zipper distortion. In this distortion, object edges are forced to convert in spikes. Choose the zipper option from the property bar here. Now drag the mouse over that object like this and observe the changes. Properties of zipper tool. Zipper distortion amplitude and frequency. With the help of this option, you can adjust the values for amplitude and frequency. We can define different distortion type like random. Smooth and local distortion. Center distortion. Here you can change the center for the distorted object. Convert to curve. You can change the distorted object to curve. That means now it's easy to change the shape of object by using shape tool. Clear distortion. If you want to remove the distortion, this option helps you. Twister distortion. In this distortion, object's edges are forced to twist either in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Choose the twister option from the property bar here. Now drag the mouse over that object like this and observe the changes. Properties of twister tool: clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. These options help us to create and change the twist either in a clockwise. Or anti-clockwise direction. Additional degrees or complete rotation. This option helps us to adjust the full rotation of a twisted object. Center distortion. 
Here we can change the center for the distorted object. Convert to curve. We can change the distorted object to curve. That means now it's easy to change the shape of object by using shape tool. Clear distortion. If we want to remove the distortion, this option helps us. In the end of this lesson, you've got a good idea that distortion can also create interesting shapes. Try it and make your work more interesting.